Hello and welcome to another episode of What's Inside. Today we are looking at a copy of Crazy Eights. This is the educational kids card game for ages 3 and up, 2 to 4 players. It does have instructions in um, multiple languages, uh, apparently. Uh, it's put out by Cardamundi. And um, it's got the information on the back how to play. Pretty straightforward. If you've never played Crazy Eights, here's your chance to learn. I found this at... I don't know where I found it offhand, actually. It's like a grocery store somewhere. Alright, they're big cards. They're about a little bigger than tarot cards, I'd say. So it comes in a sealed pack here. So let's open these up see what we got in here. Well, it's pretty well sealed because plastic hates me. This is pretty popular with little kids. This is a great way to interact with the kids too. So, there's the back of the cards. So let's see what we've got here. We've got a penguin. That's purple stars, blue circle, penguin, orange triangle penguin, green square penguin. Then it goes down to crazy monkey. This is number eight, and it should be the same designs or colors. Then we've got number seven's a dog. Then number six is a cat. Number five is a pig. And then number four is a big old lion. I'm going to name him Rory. It was like a printing error on that one. Then number three is a horse who's cross-eyed. Then number two is a cow. And then number one is an elephant. So you got four of each card, one through nine. It's pretty easy to find out if all the cards are there. Um, these have uh, a cheap gloss on them, so they will start sticking together. I actually had a little trouble with the last ones, the number ones. They were a little stuck together. So the veneer is pretty, pretty poor quality. But these are from 2016. So they're still pretty new, but they do stick together a little bit, and that tells me that the coating is pretty low end uh, but the cards aren't too bad they're a little thinner than your average playing card but the card stock is slightly better so it's a bit of a trade-off they they will get bent pretty easily but they should last you for several games if you're careful with them it depends on uh how careful the kids are with them but these tend to go for about three bucks a pack so depending on value for the dollar I would say they're actually probably a little bit more leaning toward dollar store type. I, I've been more comfortable paying a dollar for it than the three bucks or whatever I paid for it. I think I paid two fifty between two and three dollars, somewhere in there, two eighty nine. Uh, but it's not bad uh, for the price. But I'm real particular about my expenditures. Um, so I would have preferred slightly higher quality gloss. I would have paid more for better quality cards, but for what you're getting, it's not bad. But that is what is inside Crazy Eights 2016 edition from Cardamundi. Uh, it's not a bad little game. It's Crazy Eights. It's pretty generic packaging, all that, but the cartoonishness of it's cute. Colors are vibrant. Kids will love it. And if you don't have a copy of Crazy Eights, you know, might want to consider picking one up. 
Uh, it's a great educational card game. Help little kids learn to count. So, uh, yeah, that's what's inside. As always, thanks for watching and supporting the channel, and we hope to see you on the next episode.